Hi, today I will show you how to schedule a meeting with GoToMeeting, uh, a quick and simple uh, tutorial, right? So first of all, you need to find the app on your MacBook or PC. The process is pretty much similar on Mac or Windows PC. It's very, very similar. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to show you on the Mac today. Uh, so find it in your search, go and search and find it on your MacBook, GoToMeeting. If you don't have this app already, you need to go on to GoToMeeting uh, website, right, and sign in with the with your login details. Once you sign in, you will see at the bottom um, there there is a link for download GoToMeeting, right, and you just download and install it, right. And once you install it, you will find it here. There you go. Double click on the GoToMeeting app, and you can. Uh, so schedule a meeting from here click on schedule a meeting it might it will ask you for the login details put in your login details for uh, go to meeting so once you enter the login details this is the screen uh, it comes up with so uh, select the subject you want to, uh, you know, whatever the subject. So let's say in this case, uh, meet with J. Hmm, J, right? So, and let's pick a meeting for next Wednesday. Um, we'll probably pick for lunchtime. You know, I always like free lunches. So. And then you can select if it's a recurring meeting, which always you don't have to schedule every time, you know uh, what it means by recurring. So the next thing is uh, use built in audio conferencing or provide your own conference call information. Most of the times it's use built in audio conferencing unless you want people um, calling in using their phones, calling in uh, people like who are on the road, um, you know, uh, you want them. Uh, but in this case, it's it's audio conferencing, right? And next is if you you can also set um, meeting requires a password. Uh, most of the cases that's not needed either. So you click on schedule. That's simple as that. So if you have an Outlook app installed on your MacBook, it will open up a it will create a new email for you, and you can send out the invite. So um, so you can you can send the email to attendees so that they know you have uh, scheduled a meeting. So that's how simple it is. So what happens if they, when meeting approaches near the time? Since it is in your Outlook calendar, you will get the notification and then you will go back to the app um, and what you will do is go to my meetings and it will uh, come up with your meetings. You know, This is the one we scheduled and you just click start or you can start now. Now you can start at the time. It's up to you. So what what do you need to do if you want to host a quick meeting just right now? Um, so what you need to do is just go to the app. Sorry. Um, close. There you go. Just click on meet now. Uh, it will create a meeting for you right away. And you select again, choose an audio option, computer audio in most cases. You can change your options here. Uh, you get the point. So um, what happens when you create an instant meeting? You can invite people from here, attendees. You can invite all as much as 26. That's the plan we have here. Um, you can email, copy to clipboard, WhatsApp, message, whatever. You can even send a dove with the, with, the, with the letter, you know. So, but anyway, you get the point. This is how you host meetings on GoToMeeting. This is process is pretty much similar on windows as well as mac so closing this will end the meeting for all yes close it that's it simple as that thank you well um just to let you know go to meeting is available as a mobile app on iphone uh, android so people can join in for other uh, from their mobile phones as well yeah thank you very much